Hey guys and welcome to Slash Rex Games. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a spawn invincibility. So that's basically when your player is created or a player is created, then he's going to flash in and out. And during that time, he cannot take damage. This gives the player some time to scan his surroundings and get his object to a safe spot before carrying on. So in this video, we have our player at the top here, we've got a health bar. And if I click on him, it's going to simulate him taking damage. So every click is 10 health points. It is, I think it is. And when he gets down to zero, he's going to get destroyed, recreated. Now he's invincible. If I click him, health doesn't go down. Check that again. See, I'm clicking him. Health doesn't go down because he's invincible. And then as soon as he is solid again, he can take damage. Just like that. Pretty cool stuff. And then he's recreated, goes through the motions until he's solid again. And you can determine on how many seconds that is. It doesn't really matter. It's all up to you. So let's jump straight into the code. I can show you how you can do this. Okay, so this is our skeleton project. We have a player, we have a tile system here for the background. We have our player object, which just has a step event that handles movement and direction over there. And we have our game room where all the action happens. So let's go and modify our player. Let's add a create event. Firstly, we're obviously gonna need to initialize the health variable to 100. Let's set our image alpha to zero. So he's gonna start off invisible. Let's set something called fade in equals true and invincibility to true. Then I'm gonna set an alarm zero to room speed um, times three, which is gonna be three seconds. So he's gonna be flashing in and out for three seconds. Then he's no longer going to be invincible. Okay, so let's go ahead and create that alarm zero. And we just set invincibility to false, simply like that. Cool. So in our step event, let's scroll down. We've got movement looking at the mouse. Here below that, I'm going to say, well, if we're invincible, then here we're going to do some flashing around. Otherwise, if we're not invincible, then our image alpha is going to be 1 or 100%. Okay, so if we are invincible, then we need to determine if we're fading in or fading out. And if we're fading in, it means we are becoming less and less transparent. So if the image alpha is less than one, then here I'm going to say image alpha plus equals 0 0.1. Otherwise, I'm going to say fade in equals not fade in. So that's going to be the opposite, which means it's going to hit this else over here. And this else is going to say, well, if image alpha is greater than zero, then image alpha is going to be minus equal by 0 0.1. So it's the opposite. So if we're fading in, if we less than solid, then increase the image alpha until we are solid. And when we are at 100% or one for that image alpha, then do the opposite which is then going to fire off this else the next time it hits it and it's going to do the exact opposite and fade us out. And this is only going to happen so long as we're invincible. If we're not invincible, our image alpha is always one. Cool. So that's all we need to do to give us that flashing in and out effect. So I'm going to copy this variable invincibility. Let's add a mouse left pressed. This is going to simulate our collision with a bullet, for example. So if we're not invincible, then our health is going to go down by 10%. If our health is less than or equal to zero, well then let's destroy ourselves. The player is dead, just like that, cool stuff. So now we need to just create a controller that's going to create a new player randomly uh, on the map. So let's put a step event in, let's say if not instance exists object player then let's randomize and let's say instance create our random range between 100 pixels in the x direction and let's do 1180 which is 100 pixels less than 1280 which is our room width currently right now. And let's do I random range 100 and 100 pixels less than 720. So that's going to be 620. 
And what do we want to create? Object player. Just like that. And that's pretty much all this object needs to do. Let's actually make sure it's in our room. Controller, there we go, there it is. Good stuff. Okay, then let's also create HUD to draw the health. So draw GUI, bring in some code. Let's say draw health bar. X1 is going to be 50, Y1 is going to be 50. Let's make X2 uh, 1230, which is 50 pixels less than the current room width. And let's make this 175. It's going to be following the health variable. The back color, let's make C black. Min color, C red. Dangerous if you've got low health. Um, then I'm going to make a color here. Red, green, blue. This is going to be slash Rex Games Lime, which is 183 to 2431. Direction is going to be a zero. So that's right to left. And do we want a back? Well, let's just say false. Do we want a border? Yes, let's say true. If you'd like to learn more about health bars in general, I have a tutorial for that. Check the link in the description or click the box on the screen. Take you right to that. And that about wraps up everything we need to do here. So let's save this. Let's run through it one more time. We have our player and he has several variables. He has his health, he has his image alpha. So this is how transparent he is. Right now he is invisible. He's allowed to fade in, which means he's gonna become more and more opaque. He's currently invincible because he's been created. That's why this is in the create event. And we're gonna give him three seconds of invincibility. Okay, so in that alarm zero, all it does is turn the invincibility off when it has elapsed after three seconds. Our step event is gonna be handling what happens when he is invincible. So that's the flashing in and the flashing out of his image alpha right over there, depending on whether it's fading in or fading out. If he's not invincible, well then he's going to be fully opaque at an image alpha of one. Whenever someone clicks on this person or maybe he interacts with a bullet or takes some damage, if he's not invincible, his health is going to go down until he is destroyed right over here. In the room we have the controller, which is always listening for when the player gets destroyed. And when he does, it's gonna randomize the seed and create him randomly in the game room, which is then gonna make him flash and go through the three seconds. Then we have the heads up display, which is just gonna draw the player's health in a health bar form. Let's actually go put that in the game world. Over there. Cool, so let's test this out and see what happens. The player should be invincible and should be flashing as he spawns in the beginning. But before we start, I just remembered one thing in the step event, we actually have to have this else over here too. Cool stuff. Okay, so that's gonna be switching it back to fade in equals not fade in, and it's gonna hit this section, and then it's gonna be bouncing between this section and this section. Cool, so let's finally test this out and see what happens. Cool, our user is flashing in and out quite nicely for three seconds, and boom, now we can he can take damage, and he's dodging, he's doing his thing, and he's destroyed. Then he spawns again, Invincible until he's solid and then he can take damage. So that's spawn invincibility right there You can actually take this and put it into anything else that requires normal sort of invincibility You can just set invincibility equals true and it will do its thing. So that about wraps up this tutorial Hope you found it educational and helpful Please feel free to comment rate and subscribe if you have any more suggestions for small yet useful effects for your game I'm keen to hear them, we can make them happen. If you like mobile games, please check out Element Earth on the Google Play Store as well as the Amazon App Store. If you like this video as well as many of my other videos, please check out my Patreon campaign, I do appreciate your support. Project files for this tutorial are in the description. You can follow me on various social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, things like that. So until next time, happy coding, and I'll see you then.